Hey guys, so I know you guys have saw on the internet about、um, the new open AI video models called the Sora, and、um, there's a lot of、um, news going on, press release about this, actually showing all the things about how real realism this AI models can create. And how it is、um, going to mind blowing everyone using just、uh, text to videos to create such a detailed things like that. And in my videos, I am kind of going in other positions of talking about the Sora、um, video generate AI generator、um, rather than just like other YouTube. You see.、It, Showing all these、uh, demo videos from OpenAI, oh how detailed that is, how realism that is, and then reading all those text prompt to you, you know that is kind of well not kind of、uh, as a key opinion、um, YouTuber stand up point will, and instead I want to talk about why this thing get Sora. AI models is so mind blowing that is, you know, something is going to be happen in the, you know, upcoming AI industry or the like the IT industry are going to change. Now, as you can see, this AI models we have saw from other YouTube that they have described it already. It can generate、um, 60 seconds with one text prompt, just like little, very simple text prompt like this. You can generate 60 seconds, the maximum length of this, and then everything is so realistic, and、um, even all those characters and and all the、um, movement of. Different character is very unique in one video clips like that, and I can see that、um, OpenAI is really going toward the AGI. Now, this is the main point that I want to、uh, talk about in this videos. Instead of reading all those text prompt to you and then saying, "Okay, how detailed that is, how how realistic that is, and such things," because when I look at all these introductions and、uh, the announcement in this web page from OpenAI, when you scroll down, you can see something is like what their vision, their what they will. Looking for using this model, and then the future of GPT five that will be. Now you see here, Sora serving a foundation of models that can understand and simulate the real world. A capable, of, we believe, will be important milestone for achieving AGI. Now, as we saw a lot of interview. On the internet, about you know Sam Altman talk about the AGI stuff in、um, all the forums,、uh, all the discussions on the stage that he talk about. It is their、uh, the goal is to make you know the AGI release in the upcoming future of AI world and. It's very clear right now that Sora is a very、uh, set up as a foundation for their AGI models that they have a capable of understanding the real world. Their AI model is is、um, is going to be you no know, more advanced than other、um, AI models that we saw, rather than just. A simple diffusion model that making all the image, all the videos into noise, and then you know regenerate again once you input a text prompt and such like that. They they are trying to 
understand each element of this world and then put it into the digital life and then regenerate that into using AI models, right? And um, now this is something that we should be focusing on rather than you know, just seeing by, by in front of our eyes how detailed that is, how realistic that is, and then without any thoughts uh, put into the process of how we analyze a new AI models, right? Like when last two weeks ago, I have talked about the Google Lumiere and yes, this is a very good model too. But then when you compare it to text to videos with OpenAI Sora, text to videos model is whole different things. You see this from Google Lumiere, they are Yes, fair detail and something is close to realistic, but there's some little tweaks that you see that AI are still not understanding about the real world, every single element. Like this skateboard it is floating on the top without the wheels, something like that. You can see a little twist, little part of that is showing you the evidence that their AI models is not quite there yet to achieving to the AGI level. Now, when you have something like this or, you know, something like this, you can see all the constructor in, in this video clip, they are moving unique direction. They are, they are having the, their own unique actions and movement in this video clip. And they are fully, like almost fully understanding what is happening in the world and then regenerating something like a camera. Now, within this level, I believe OpenAI, well, already they, I believe they have already have the ability to create an AGI models. Um, privately or internally in their company, I'm not sure, but they have the ability already to do that. And we should, uh, as a, as a users of AI or as a entrepreneur like me to using AI to, you know, leveraging for our daily work, I think we should look at this perspective rather than just seeing how detailed that is and then how artistic that is, right? And and you seeing the growth of open AI there, you know, starting from Chat GDP three and then going to three point five and then going to four. And then right now they have the Do Dolly three and then now the Sora. Now everything they they have the progress. They it is it, it's like they have the the, the roadmap of running this from so raw and so not kind of uh, match in the real qual uh, quality, but then it is now close to the realism and the real world actually. So I think what we should look at when we see, you know, such a, like a mind blowing AI models, that is, well, I can say that it is really shocking the industry with their newest AI model, Sora. And we, we should see the perspective of now the AGI is coming, right? The, the AGI, how we integrating the AGI in, you know, like, like this one, um, for AI videos or the AGI knowledge for, you know, generally everything in our daily life. Now I have saw Sam Altman, um, last few days ago, one of the, his interview is talking about his goal of making, um, AGI is basically smarter, right? Basically they want to make smarter thing. 
of everything that is you no know, GPT fives are going to be way better than GPT four, obviously, and you know the AI models are going to be smarter on everything, creating videos, creating image, um, you know, creating your content in text or audios. You have image recognitions or video recognitions to to understand what is the world world looks like, and then the AI can be you know have the intelligence to react based on the situations of that moment, and eventually this AGI models can be putting into the like like a real robotic. Uh, robot that have this such a AGI model in this robot and help us to actually do things in real life in the real world instead of having the AI models that just allowing us right now to using uh, in the computer to you know generate something and then um, you no know, making funny videos all kind of stuff we, we, we can see this is going to be, you know, like a lot of movies that talk about when, when the, you know, the air advancement is so, um, is so good already. And then everything apply in our lives and, and then the, you know, the robotics, um, machines are helping us to do stuff. And I believe one day when AGI release and all the manufacturers doing the hardware stuff, they will try to integrate that into their robots and then helping us daily life to do things like that. And eventually the IT industry are going to change a lot. And um, one, one thing I want to mention about like no coding is, well, actually the programmers there, there's still a values for programmers as I hire programmers in my company. And I, I, I've told them that, well, you guys should, you know, leverage the, the way of using AI as a tools to make your programming process faster rather than just, you know, strive from coding from scratch, doing, uh, doing from zero. And then you, you set up your functions, all the uh you know the the objects models by yourself instead you can use ai to make it faster you can you know guide the ais to write coding for you just like you know we have the code lemma and and you know right right now we we can write python without learning python before even i have uh, lots of experience in c sharp and vb Previously, I, I'm um, doing a lot in Visual Studio, but right now the world change, right? The world change is things are going, almost everything is, you know, doing on Python. And even Visual Studios are supporting Python right now. And then I don't have to spend time to learn over all the syntax again and then, you know, learn how, how, how to write things in Python. Instead, I have the knowledge of coding and based on that foundations, you know, the logics, everything is the same, but then you just have to change the syntax into Python. So therefore we can shorten our time that we are using the AI to write the syntax for us. Now for AI, like open AI also, they have all the GPT models and, you know, Soros and Dolly. They, they create tools like that. And, and, you know, for IT industry, people should leverage this as a tool instead of, uh, you know, telling them that, oh, they, they are um, not open source for, for everyone to download and not open source for, you know, you to modify their AI models. Well, face the reality, right? If, if you have the files of chat GPT four, let's say, can you really run that in your local machine? 
right? Like, e imagine how how much server they use to run the GPT four. How much server they need to run this Sora, the this newest AI models for videos. They they are you know so many hardware to support and running this. You you cannot just you know have a such high level of AI models that you can download like few gigabytes of files and then run it in your local. So I sometimes I hear people talk about that and I'm kind of like yeah you are kind of not understanding what you know really behind this stuff. You know, you just want to open open source and everything's open and everything's free. But then, you face the reality, right? It, what what if you have the files of GPT four right now? Can you really host that in your local computer and run that, right? I I guarantee you, you can't do that. Like even you have a, um, uh, Nvidia forty ninety, uh, graphic cards or even one a hundred. NVIDIA graphic card, I don't think you have enough resource to run such a huge model like this, All right? So just for, for people that, you know, using that, just enjoy it, just enjoy, you know, pay a little fees to open AI and enjoy the, the, the using of these tools and then learn how to leveraging these tools for your work, you know, improving your daily workflow and then make this you know something that you can optimize for your um your work and not getting behind of the market and some days you will be fired by your company right so that is the whole thing i want to talk about when this new ai models release and i hope this inspire you not rather than just seeing this, how realistic that is, and then reading all this text prompt and things like that, right? So I will see you guys in the next videos and have a nice day. Bye.